I turned this tiny device into a full electronics toolkit. This is the WIO terminal. It has an LCD display, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, microphone, and much more. It even has Raspberry Pi compatible GPIO pins. It's basically a ready-made prototyping device in one compact shell. Out of the box, it boots into this little game. Cute, but I think we can do much more with it. The question is, how much more? Let's find out. I made a firmware with a collection of apps to run on this device. It has multiple apps that you can run, and even some games. Before we dive into the firmware, I want to show how we can use it as a terminal for our sensors and modules. This device is compatible with the Grove ecosystem, which has a large variety of modules. All the modules plug directly into the ports on the bottom. I have connected an air quality sensor here, a time of flight distance sensor to the I2C port, and on the back, I have connected an LED directly to the GPIO pins. Let's turn it on and check. So the LED is controlled by the buttons on the top. You can turn it on and off. You can control the brightness of the LED. Here we can see the distance measured from the time of flight sensor. Here we can see the reading from the air quality sensor. Now back to our firmware. The firmware is available on the Tech Talkies GitHub. And to install the firmware, you have to download the UF2 file. Plug the device to your computer and pull the power switch down twice. The device will go into the bootloader mode and show up as a storage device on your computer. Copy the downloaded UF2 file here. That's it. You have flashed the firmware. First up, there is the GPIO tool, where you can write and read the GPIO pins. For now, you can test up to pin D8. Select the pin and press the joystick button to set it to high or low. Press button B to change the pin mode to input. When in input mode, the reading of the pin is displayed, as high or low. I've plugged in an LED module in the Grove port. The Grove port is the D0 pin. So if I set D0 to output and high, the LED lights up. This module has built-in resistors. If you connect an LED directly, don't forget to add resistors. From any app, press button A to exit. Next is an audio spectrum visualizer. It does exactly what the name suggests, and it uses the onboard mic. No extra modules needed. There are many modes. You can change modes using the left and right keys and change colors using the center key. I'm using self-tapping screws for the AI port. Make the hole slightly bigger if needed. Exit using button A. Next is a digital level tool. It uses the onboard accelerometer. It can help you level on all the axes. The device also supports USB host modes, meaning you can connect USB devices to it. So if you remove the power supply and connect a battery pack, you can now connect USB devices to the Type-C port. For example, you can connect a mouse to it. Or a keyboard. The next one is a serial terminal. 
So I can hook up any other microcontroller's UART pins to the TX and RX pins on the back, and I can use this as a serial monitor. Here, I am monitoring the serial output of the ESP32 by connecting the TX pin of the ESP32 to the RX pin of the WIO. Maybe in the next update, I can send serial commands using a keyboard. The next one is an I2C scanner. This can be used to check the address of your I2C devices, or even to check if your modules are working. I am connecting two i squared c devices to the Grove port using an expansion board, an OLED display, and a time-of-flight sensor. Let's run a scan. And now you can see both the devices and their addresses. There are games too. This is a simple brick breaking game that we can control with the five way button. And the classic snake game. The entire firmware is made in Arduino IDE. It has separate files for different apps, and the main file handles the menu and launches the apps. You can directly upload it from the Arduino IDE. I will make the entire project available on GitHub if this video reaches 10,000 views. But the UF2 file is linked in the description. Keep making, and see you in the next video.